So now I'm stuck planning this funeral. So let's just get us a box, a piece of ground, and be done with it. Okay. Well, what's our budget here? Three thousand dollars. Hey, you think we can bury her in a big screen TV box? <laughs> hey. Oh, look at this one here. Oh yeah, that's solid walnut. Looks like a tight grain, hand rubbed. Oh, buddy, I believe this is the one you need to go with. Rodney. 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 Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Marco. Marco. Polo. <laughs> All right, I've got you. Come out of there. Hey, Bert. Hurry, I'm stuck. Well, try pushing. I am pushing, but quit sitting on the lid. Why would I be on the lid? Because that's what I'd be doing if you were in here. Look, stop talking. Take short breaths. You're, there can't be a lot of oxygen in there. Damn it, Barry, get me out of here. You probably used up half your oxygen right there. Rodney, I don't know what to do. Rodney? Rodney! You told me to quit talking. <laughs> Sir, could you help me? Uh, my, my buddy fell in and it got stuck. <laughs> Come on, buddy. What kind of coffins are you selling? How come there's not a latch in there? Where's the light? It's scary in there. You're funny, we've never had any complaints before. Might I be of some assistance? Yeah. We're planning a funeral. My aunt died. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. At times like these, it's important yeah, 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 you could stop all that crap. I didn't know her. <laughs> what kind of deals you got? Well, the Platinum Chariot package includes a mahogany casket, burial arrangements, pallbearers, clergy, and embalming. Okay, great. We'll write that up. Now, how would you like to pay? Third-party out-of-state check. Uh -huh. <laughs> That'll be $13,312. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Here. Dang, when did dying become so pricey? 1982. <laughs> Look, what is your least expensive package? That would be the John Doe package. Well, what does that include? A box and a hole. How much is that? $5,000. Man! Do you have, like, another client that nobody cares about that we can just kind of team her up with? I don't think so. Hey, you know what? We could take out an ad. Single, deceased female seeks same for a cozy basement apartment. <laughs> Non-breather a must. <laughs> I can see that you're extremely upset. I'll give you a moment. Man, can you believe how much this stuff is? I can't come out of my pocket for this stuff. We gotta cut corners somewhere. Hey, do you still got that nine acres south of town? Yeah. Why don't we just dig a hole and bury her out there? <laughs> Buddy, that's not burying a loved one. That is disposing of a body. <laughs> gotta think of something. You sure about this? We're buying a black market casket in an alley behind a Chinese restaurant. What the hell is there to be sure about? Uh, excuse me, are you Lou? You police? No. no. Health department? No. Private dick? No. no. Then I'm Lou. What do you want? <laughs> Uh, where are the guys that called about the casket? Oh, over here. That's it? No, it's the box the casket came in. What the hell you think? <laughs> Look, I don't mean to tell you how to run your illegal back alley black market casket business, but a little courtesy goes a long way. <laughs> Looks kind of little. Yeah, what's with the size? I asked for a medium. This Chinese medium. We very small people. <laughs> they do amusement park in China. No one tall enough to write anything. I don't know how tall Ruth was. I don't know if she'll fit in that. Well, buddy, we're running out of options. You can't just cram an old lady in a tiny little box. Where's the dignity? I gotta draw the line somewhere. I let go for $200. Sold. <laughs>